Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Father. And I welcome you this morning to our celebration. This morning, our church honors Saints Simon and Jude, apostles, and our Mass and prayers are being joined together for Carl and Mary Ivankovic. And we begin this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the unity of his Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Coming together this morning as God's family, with confidence we ask our Lord's forgiveness, for our God is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of our Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. For glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you do take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You do take away the sins of the world, we receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant, through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude, that the Church may constantly grow by increase of the people who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens to the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, all, through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firm firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the Word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their, their message goes out to all the earth.
chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, who he named Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who is called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Today our church celebrates and honors the two apostles Simon and Jude. And as I was reading this gospel from St. Luke and the calling of the Twelve, two things really struck me and I feel it's important for us to just focus in on, on this feast day. First is the fact of the grace of God in calling each of us to be disciples, to be apostles. As Jesus called the twelve, he prayed the night before, prayed for God's grace, for God's wisdom. And in calling the twelve, they came from different walks of life. For him, they did not have to fit a certain criteria of where they came from, but a criteria that just involved love of God and willingness to put one's life at God's service. As we continue to pray for ourselves and our calling as disciples, let us remember that the grace of God is in each one of us. The grace of God calls us, and no matter who we are, where we find ourselves, we are called to be those disciples, apostles in our world today, to be those people, those individuals, who preach and teach the love of God. God bless. With hearts full of gratitude, we now turn to the Lord in our prayer. <coughs> we pray for our Holy Father. May the Holy Spirit continue to instill his leadership with wisdom and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God grant them eyes to see and hearts to respond to those who suffer in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For victims of abuse in any form, may the healing hand of Jesus provide balm for their wounds let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may we be rooted in the Church through the Eucharistic table we gather around today, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Amen. For all who have died in Christ, may our triune God welcome them into their perfect, eternal relationship of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for peace in our world, for peace in places that have unrest, the Mideast, Ukraine, that the peace of Christ may be known to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for our own special intentions. Father, we ask that you look upon these needs we have brought before you today through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please bear with me, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all.
all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Alfred our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially Simon and Jude, and Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with all of you. And, and with your spirit. To so share with those around you a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus, who comes to take away the sins of our world, lest are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the Apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into the hell of Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a very nice day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.